Hey Ren, you wanna make 50 bucks? 50 bucks? Yeah. I like 50 bucks. This number right here cost me $1,000. And we had to submit our whole film to legal script clearance so that they can make sure we're not infringing on anything. No real phone numbers, no real addresses. The more of those you have in your film, you're literally just cha-ching, 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 racking up your budget for clearance. And this is the license plate number they gave us that's cleared by the DMV that we can use in our film. I was wondering if you could 3D print me a license plate. 3D print a license plate? <laughs> well, the problem is that a license plate is much bigger than the print bed. It's a problem we can solve. Nope. You cannot print anything that's bigger than your print bed and taller than your Z-axis. If you want something like a license plate, you have to print it in two parts. A little gift for my friend. I want him to be pleasantly surprised. I came in today, top of the new year, and I had a gift waiting for me. This is gonna save us a lot of VFX shots. Sorry it's so warped and everything. No, it's fine. I mean, once we screw it in, it's gonna be, it's gonna look great. Yeah. That's what happens when you put two pieces together, I guess. Yeah. What's in the box, Nat? A new 3D printing technology. Oh, pretty. This is a completely different way to think about printing. That's so bizarre, it looks like a tiny little pyramid. That has an infinite Z axis. All right, this is the print bed from the Ultimaker, and normally you just build vertically up from that. The way they figured out how to extend something like that forever, you keep the print head flat, and you just move the bed downwards. See what I mean? This is a regular 3D printer up here. Everything above this point is normal. Printing sideways allows you to do some weird things and it's taken a while for us to kind of get our heads wrapped around that. Yo, what up, Joe? A friend of mine is really into 3D printing, so much so that his name is literally the 3D printing nerd. He's got one too. So one of the things that you start to get to do is stuff like this. Oh, that's so cool, dude. So what's great is there's no support because it prints like this. Everything's a 45 degree overhang, but there's no bridging. Right. So it's not hard to stretch filament across. Do you have any ideas for like a potential project that is specifically suited for this printer? If you had 20 different stop motion poses and you printed them out one right after the other, and then you took time-lapse photography at the right frame rate, it would look like whatever is just running on the printer, right? That's a great That's idea. About. That's a great idea. And it wouldn't be that hard to like make the models either. You basically just get like a 3D animation, like an FBX, and then export out like an OBJ sequence of that. Mm -hmm. So each, yep. each yep. 3D model is its own like pose. Part of the beauty of that machine is the part removal as it goes over the cliff and then it just goes tick. <laughs> it just pops off? <laughs> yeah. It just pops. All right, we're gonna have to get that on video then. Uh, oh, there it goes. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> and the last one. Yeah, any, anytime I can help, let me know. Yeah, sounds great, man. Thanks a lot. Joel's such a good dude. I like Joel so much. 3D printing nerd on YouTube. Oh, he's cool. I imagine we're gonna be using this a lot next year, so that is great. Although for now, it's gonna be mostly used by Nat as she makes her Mandalorian armor. So I'm just like, I'm itching to get my chance. I don't know what's wrong. The printer just doesn't extrude enough. We're still in such early days of this type of printer that the software is just barely functional, even if the hardware is beautiful. You're working on 45 degrees, everything is different. Hey Joel, something is up with the Z offset, I think. The idea maker, it's really good software. It has a, a passionate user base and a passionate team making it. So they work for beer money. They allow profiles to be uploaded to their website by people who, who make them. It's printing your test cube that you sent me just fine. Just it's fine. Hey, I'm excited that at least helped you a little bit. Yeah, thank you. It means a lot. Okay. Take care, Dad. Talk again soon. Mm -hmm. Joel's so cool. Joel's a pretty cool dude. Jan got a 3D printer, yeah. and Jan has been experimenting with printing his own limbs. It's pretty cyberpunk. You're almost at a point where you have a different one for every day of the week. I actually use it for work. I will be using it for work tomorrow. Uh, I like it. It's kind of a nice old signature. It's my whole hand. That's then it, weird. yeah, yeah. And who made that? Uh, my buddy Ren. Did you recently lose your finger? I mean, that's a big question, bro. That's a big question. We need beers for that. I've got something to show you, Jan. Unreal. It's a 3D printer? It's a 3D printing assembly line. That's nuts. I can't get the TPU to stick right, so mm. I'm, I'm working on it. Yeah, TPU is really hard to stick. 
The coolest thing about 3D printing is the fact that there is a huge community of people who just put a lot of time into making things and then they upload it to the internet for everyone to enjoy. I didn't have to pay for this file. This was just done for me and, and released out there for free. Sharing knowledge for free on the internet is kind of a pillar of the community. It's what holds it up. Being able to model something that someone else can use, it makes me happy that they're using something I made. I'm at, honestly, the fact that you use this as much as you do is so rewarding and fulfilling. <laughs> Sometimes you're trying to accomplish something that there's not a lot of resources out there to help you with. You'll always find somebody who's willing to help you if you look in the right communities and you look in the right places. There's this small growing collective of people who know a lot about these machines. It's just like anything that's new, more of them need to be made and in the hands of people so that we get more ideas. Absolutely, yeah. Everybody is always constantly sharing their ideas, sharing their knowledge, sharing their industrial experience. Don't feel intimidated by other people's knowledge base. It's never a bad idea to reach out for help. If I can be of any help at all, if you have any questions, reach out. If you, if you see something cool, uh -huh. reach out. Because of the community, you just have a problem that hasn't been solved yet. And then eventually you'll be that person that somebody else reaches out to for your knowledge. When in doubt, I can always go to Nat. This makes me feel very happy and grateful that I got a friend who's willing to 3D print me a license plate. So thanks, Nat. Maybe that's like my important contribution. I can tell them what exact colors I used. I can tell them what exact paints I used. I can give them the templates and the decals to contribute back to a group of people all trying to accomplish the exact same costume. I love it. It is one of the things I love about 3D printing. Sorry, my mouth is full of peanut butter. I'm trying to get like to a point where I can easily talk. This is going in the video, isn't it? <laughs>